But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too. The Apollo program took humans to the moon for the first time with a total of six moon landings on the lunar surface between 1969 and 1972. These missions noted a pivotal time for the human race, one marked by rapid technological advancement. In order to further appreciate these missions and the sacrifices of the astronauts who manned them, let's take a closer look at each mission and their relation to one another. Apollo 11 landed at Mare Tranquillatus, Latin for Sea of Tranquility, a basalt basin on the moon. The mission was the first to land humans on the moon on July 20th, 1969. This fateful day changed the course of humanity forever. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to step foot on lunar soil. In total, they spent two and a half hours walking on the moon, nearly a day on the lunar surface, and collected 47.5 pounds of lunar soil while there to bring back to Earth for further studying. Apollo 12 landed at Ocean Storms, a vast lunar mare on the western edge of the near side of the moon. Apollo 12 was the sixth manned flight of the Apollo missions and was the second to land humans on the moon. Launched on November 14, 1969 from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, Charles Conrad and Alan Bean became the next fateful two to step foot on the moon, with Richard Gordon remaining in orbit. This mission marked the first time a color camera was taken to the moon, but the transmission was lost when Bean destroyed the camera by pointing it at the sun. Apollo 13 was slated to be the third manned mission to the moon, but famously had to be aborted after an oxygen tank exploded two days after launch on April 11th, 1970. This explosion destroyed much of the potable water system and the heating system, but the crew of three, James Lovell, John Swigert and Fred Heiss Jr. were all able to make hasty repairs and return safely to Earth just six days after launch. Apollo 14 landed at the Fra Mauro Formation, a large area thought to have been formed by debris impacting the moon's surface. The mission was manned by Alan Shepard Jr., Stuart Rusa, and Edgar Mitchell, and became the third successful lunar landing mission. The nine-day mission launched on January 31, 1971, and the crew was able to complete two lunar spacewalks, as well as collect nearly 100 pounds of moon rock. In total, Shepard and Mitchell spent 33 and a half hours on the moon, 9.5 of which were spent walking or roving the surface. Apollo 15 landed in the Hadley Apennine region of the moon on the near side, located next to a large lava plain. Launched on July 26, 1971, David Scott, Alfred Warden, and James Irwin successfully landed on the moon for a fourth time during this mission. Irwin and Scott spent a total of three days on the moon with 18 and a half hours spent outside the spacecraft. As James Irwin stayed in orbit, he was able to gather significant data on the lunar surface using various imaging and laser devices. Apollo 16 landed on the Descartes Highlands, located next to the Descartes Crater, which gives it its name. The mission launched on April 16, 1972, and was the first to land on the lunar highlands, which mark the lighter areas of the lunar surface. John Young and Charles Duke became the ninth and tenth man, respectively, to walk on the lunar surface, with Thomas Mattingly staying in lunar orbit. While there, the astronauts were able to drive the lunar rover a total of nearly 17 miles across the moon's surface. 
Apollo 17 landed on Taurus Litro, a valley on the near side of the moon. The final mission of NASA's Apollo program launched on December 7, 1972. Apollo 17 carried Eugene Cernan, Ronald Evans, and Harrison Schmidt to the moon, with Cernan and Schmidt becoming the last two humans to ever walk on the moon. Cernan was the second man to step into the lunar lander module, making him, technically, the last man to touch the lunar surface. When looking at all of these landing sites together, it's amazing to see just how close together all of these historic events took place. These sites will forever be marked on the moon, and who knows, maybe when we go back, they'll stand as monuments for our past historic explorations. 